Let's talk about what's going on nowadays in the world of boxing today. Obviously, the weird thing going on today is the whole thing with Tyson Fury. He retires, tells the boxing world pretty much to go suck a dick, and then that's that's in the tweet. I'm quoting him, so pretty much tells the boxing world suck a dick, and then two hours later, he had to say it twice. He had to say it twice. You interrupted me. Don't let me say it the third time. That's all on you. You're not in the car. <laughs> and then two hours what later, he's all like, <laughs> and then two hours later, he's like, you guys are not going to get rid of me that quickly. I am the greatest. I am the best. What? Obviously, it's been rumored that he has depression. It's been rumored that he, well, not rumored, but it's been said that he has tested positive for cocaine. Obviously, the high of winning that title versus Klitschko has done something to the, to the guy's psyche. We've seen him hit himself with an uppercut. <laughs> what, what do you guys think mentally is going on there with Tyson Fury? I think he didn't he didn't think it was gonna be Klitschko and when that came, it was just too much for him, for him to handle. <laughs> or he would just <laughs> You just think he saw? You just think he saw? I mean do you honestly believe that he will remain retired? Well he said he's well, back. If he keeps doing what he's doing, of course. Yeah. They, oh he, he says is. he's back now. Yeah, no no, no two hours later no, he just you know said that. he's doing everything right because everybody's talking about him. Mm. You gotta wonder yeah, if it's being done not, intentionally not, or now everybody's it, thinking that yeah. it's gonna come because now that um, I think that Klitschko and Joshua fight is set. I don't know if it's official. No, no, it's, it's gonna it's, it, it's still so. there. No, guess he wants to be part of it, you know. Right. So he has to do something. I mean, to, me, to give publicity on yeah, himself yeah, because yeah. he's the champion, well, and of course these guys are gonna get the biggest guy. paycheck. I'm showing up with the Batman suit. Yeah. He wants to remain <laughs> relevant. We're talking about it though. Like Ronald, we're talking about think about it this yeah. way. Think about it this way. He announces on Twitter that he's retired. Literally 30 minutes later, they already have Ricky Hatton on television in, in the UK talking about his supposed retirement. And then an hour and a half later after that report comes out, he says, oh, you're not getting rid of me that quickly. But obviously with this sporadic attitude and the way he's acting and everything, the positive cocaine test and all that, do you guys believe he's more than likely going to get stripped for the titles? He if, he has, if he's positive, he, he yeah, yes, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. It, it clearly shows that he's got a more than just mental issues. I mean, the guy must be on cocaine <laughs> if he's gonna say he's he's retired from the sport and then an hour and a half later I'm back. You're not getting rid of me. No, well, no one told you to retire. <laughs> yeah. It's a serious okay, issue. Bipolar, right? <laughs> and, and 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 you know what's another thing I was thinking too about. You remember how Buster Douglas beat Mike Tyson? Like. When you reach the apex of your personal goals and yeah, uh, Mike in, in Tokyo. In Tokyo, when you beat Buster, yeah. Buster oh, Douglas. Oh, you wasn't born then, right? You yeah. weren't born then. <laughs> <laughs> but like, I was thinking, I was thinking Math, uh, Mathis. Sorry, Buster Mathis. Buster Mathis. Yeah. Mathis yeah. yeah. When you reach the apex of your personal goals, like everything just like, ah, like so. He, right, maybe right. he feels like he's done. He's accomplished all he can accomplish. You know, like the desire left with that fight because that was his ultimate goal was to be there beat the world champion. Yeah, because at that time Klitschko was the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world and even though Deontay his, his style was was not not fan friendly, he still was undisputed number 1. Right now though, let's talk about it. With Klitschko being losing to Tyson Fury, Tyson Fury going through what he's going through, the rise of Anthony <coughs> Joshua, and, uh, Deontay Wilder being sidelined after the Areola fight, uh, Luis Ortiz in freaking in oblivion right now. No one knows what the heck is going on with him. Who right now takes over the heavyweight division, considering the fact that a little under a year ago the heavyweight division was was blossoming, and right now it's just everywhere thanks to what Tyson Fury has been going through. Who do you guys think is like well, the number I one think, heavyweight champ right I now? I think they're doing a good job with uh, with Joshua. I mean, <laughs> I mean he, publicity, everything is good. I mean, they're taking fighters to his hometown, and I mean, he's been a successful. Yeah, the I pay-per-view think, buys yeah. are coming up. I mean, he's selling tickets, he's filling up arenas, he's winning, and he's knocking guys out. He looks athletic, he doesn't look fat. Exactly. Yeah. Like, yeah. You know, he's there's got, a lot of heavyweights that they're just fat and they just don't care. Well, I think he's got everything uh, fight fans want in a heavyweight. Yeah, the guy, he's a very good looking dude. He, like, he's very athletic. The guy can fight. Guy can he, he can knock you out. He's, he's got it all. He's, he's got charm. He, he, well. He's very charismatic. Yeah, he's, yeah. he's an Englishman. I mean, come on. Yeah. It works. You know, the guy can sell, and I think that's going to... people he's, like him. Yeah, he's likable. he's Americans. He's likable, yeah. yeah. He's likable. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. <laughs> that's, the, that's the goal. If you're an English champion, you want to fight, you want to knock out America. Yeah, yeah, because obviously we're over here. We don't really see that much of the other side of the pond and everything. We don't get to see the UK fighters, but 
Anthony Joshua, we got to see his fight versus Dominic Brazil. If he was fighting, we didn't see the Dylan White fight. We saw it on YouTube and other replays and everything like that. That was a good but fight. It, it was. But if we would have seen him fight other UK fighters, the only way we would have been able to get his work and what we're seeing now is on YouTube. And Showtime signed him. Well, so. I yeah. think that Showtime did sign him. I also have to, uh, yeah. you have to thank social media nowadays. I mean, without that, I don't think we'd be able to know a lot of the fighters that are out in the UK because the, the, fight, the fighters in the UK are making a huge statement right now. And Tyson Fury, to me, is overrated. I don't think he's very good. He's not fun to watch. Anthony Joshua, on the other hand, is fun to watch. He scores knockouts, and he looks good doing it. Tyson Fury looks boring to me. He's very tactical, but there's nothing about him that makes me want to see more of Tyson Fury. Boy, Mayweather was very tactical, but at least he looked good doing it. Fury, to me, looks, looks very, uh, he looks lazy in there at times. He looks uh, like he doesn't have all the right fundamentals. He doesn't look like he knows what he's doing, like a little clumsy, you know? It doesn't, it doesn't do anything for me. I can care less whether he remains retired or comes back to the sport. It's kind of like... You guys agree? Uh, yeah, I agree. Yeah, I agree. I agree. He's born, but the key thing, he knows how to win. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, it's kind of like uh, like the Baltimore Ravens. I'm not sure if you guys are a football fan, like the Baltimore Ravens who won the Super Bowl with Trenton Dilfer as the quarterback. Oh, yeah. You know, very boring, very mundane. Three and out, but they're not going to give up any touchdowns. You know what I mean? And, 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 and that's what he does. He doesn't give up any touchdowns. You know, you're not going to knock him out because God blessed him with the height. You know what I mean? He's good with his reach. And hey, Steve Cunningham almost had him out. Steve, yeah, Steve Cunningham. Yeah, you're right. You're right. But, but he knows how to win. And at the right. end of the day, you know, at, you just want to win the fight. You may not look good in every fight, but you want to get out with that W. Right? And the gift that he does have is the gift of gab. That guy can yeah. talk his uh, ass off. Like you said, the whole Batman yeah. thing. It that was, just, that it, was it, hilarious. It, uh, it got us all talking. Yeah, like, we were all on Twitter. We were all on social media. We were all like, what the hell is this guy doing? But again, it gets us talking about him. Absolutely. I'll, I'll tell you what. He may know how to win in fights, but he ain't winning in life <laughs> right now. <laughs> but yeah, I, I honestly, Tyson Fury. What do you think he, he, in the world? He, well, more than likely world. will. He's have true. been the former heavyweight champion of the world, but doesn't he doesn't please me. It's not something I get excited about. All right, if you want to get excited, what would be your ultimate heavyweight fight right now at this moment? Uh, Wilder versus Joshua. You I think that's a that? great fight. Yeah, summer 2017. Yeah. I mean, Klitschko, I like the fight, but I think it might be a little too early for Joshua. Just a bit. I mean, I think he can catch him, but... You gotta remember, Klitschko, yeah, he's 40, 41 years old, but he still has all that loads of experience. And he can do a lot of things inside that ring that Joshua has not seen, ever. So, it's a little too soon. I like Klitschko chasing the mice now, you know what I mean? Like, he's been in the lead position for, I mean, for a decade now, decade. you know what I mean? And so it's nice to see him like, I gotta get a fight, right. I gotta get a fight. I'm chasing these young guys around, I you know what I mean? It, so, I, so I definitely would like to see him in a big time fight where he is, quote unquote, the underdog. Right. You know what I mean? And I think he would be the underdog in the Anthony Joshua fight. Do you be see a, the fight happening? No, I, I see Anthony Joshua fighting an American before he would fight a Klitschko. Right. Be honest with yeah. you. That's just, it just makes more money. It makes more sense. Bring another American over there, knock bring, him out. Bring a, bring a real as we beat him. Who, who, who would it be? Well, obviously, we had Gerald Washington, maybe. What about David mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, he, he actually wanted that fight. Yeah, Gerald Washington Gerald actually wanted that fight. Well, they Washington will definitely get knocked they, out. Yeah, they already, <laughs> had, they already had Dominic Brazil go over there. Yeah, but Dominic it, it's just basically, who, what, what other heavyweights can you build your name off of? You could I mean, do it off of Oh, he's fighting the winner of Pavekin. Uh, no, oh, that's Deontay Wilder. Yeah, that's Wilder. That's Wilder. Wilder. Yeah, that's Wilder. Wilder. That's Wilder. Brazil wasn't a bad fighter. Bro. No, Brazil is not a bad fighter, honestly. Yeah. He he's just better than, than Washington. Yeah. yeah. I but again, Washington's you, a bum, though. What like, you need to do real. is, what you need to do I is just said that. American <laughs> fighter. We'll edit. <laughs> I should we'll have said that. that. We'll I would see him. Like a two weeks He was going to say I mean, the worst fighter, I think, was that former IBF champ, Charles. Charles. Martin Charles. Oh, Charles. oh my God. Charles yeah, he was. Like, See, he couldn't even remember his name either. He Charles went over Martin. there to crack a check. <laughs> Oh my God. Five, he got five million for that fight. Really? Just for the hey, first of all, the Trump didn't even fit so him. So what does that tell you? The Trump didn't even fit him. What a really? gold. What a mother. Dookie Shores. What a gold. Five million for that fight. I mean, what does that tell you how much the, you know, these cats are making in the UK? They're making a lot of money. I'm going to show you how bad Eddie Hearn wanted him to be a champion. 
Yeah. You know yeah. What I mean? So, because they pay extra money, they said we want to bring him over yeah. as soon as possible. Yeah, because yeah. they you knew know? he would lose that time. Yeah, for sure. Uh huh. Yeah. Big payout for him. That was and a perfect setup for you. Charles Monet did an interview since since that fight. And he you got, got stabbed or shot or something. Yeah, yeah that's the last thing I heard of. Oh, really? Yeah, he got yeah. stabbed or shot. I forgot, but it was like on social media a little while ago. If you win shot. five million, you got to get yourself stabbed. Ask Yeah. Yeah. That's Kill Brook. That's been Avidas, yep, and Avidas, yep, Avidas oh, as well, man. yeah. Avidas, man, there's been a lot of boxing stabbings and everything going on. It's kind of weird. <laughs> well, it's the only way you can beat a boxer. Yeah, this is true. <laughs> <laughs> With a I weapon, right? <laughs> With a yeah, weapon. Mechanical advantage. <laughs> All right.